Hi everyone, uh, this is Battleforge. Uh, I apologise for this late video, uh, but it's an important video because, well, I'm going to show you how to fix an issue with SCP Contain Breach that has been an issue forever and has the easiest fix. And I don't understand why it's not common knowledge. I, I, I even spoke to Vane, uh, one of the developers for SCP Contain Breach and Nine-Tailed Fox Mod and all this sort of stuff because this fixes all of these issues, right? And even he didn't know, and was surprised at how easy it was to fix. So, without any more rambling, I'm just going to show you, because it's so easy. Uh, and yes, this is the video for the week. Um, next week, there should be an actual video. It's just that I've been doing streams, I started a new job this week. I've not had time, so unfortunately this is just going to have to suffice. But hey, it's helpful, so who cares? So, this issue is playing SCP Containment Breach on a laptop. So, you may notice, <coughs> voice come back. So you may notice that when you try and play SCP Containment Breach on a laptop, uh, a few issues can happen. Uh, the first being that when you open the launcher, uh, it doesn't show the graphics card that your laptop may have. Uh, this obviously only applies to gaming laptops that have like, say, this one, which, which has got a, uh, a GTX 1050 in it. Uh, you'll notice it only has the Intel integrated, which is weird because you know your laptop's got that graphics card and other games utilise it. You may remember this from Batesy's and mine uh, SCP Nine-Tailed Fox mod playthrough way, way back when that came out. And he was like, oh, well, I can't get good frame rate and the graphics card isn't showing up and no matter what I do, it just doesn't recognise it. Well, we found the fix. <laughs> so, what you have to do is you want to go to your NVIDIA control panel. This obviously applies to people that have an, you know, an NVIDIA GPU chip. Uh, once that's opened, you're going to go to Set Physics X Configuration, or PhysX, whatever you want to call it. And when you open that, you'll notice that your GPU will be uh, set to a output. Mine is, only has one HDMI out port, uh, but you'll notice that that has NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1050 related to it. Uh, this is how you identify what the chip is related to, port-wise. So, once you've found that out, and this is, I don't understand how no one's figured this out. I swear people have, but maybe it's just not public knowledge, or if people have figured it out and I'm just really slow. But what you want to do is, you're just going to get a monitor, a TV, anything that allows output, and you're just going to plug your laptop into a screen, and then when you go back to SCP Containment Breach, the, the graphics card shows up. And then when you play it with it, it works fine. And you can even just play it on your other screen if you just duplicate displays. And I'm pretty sure that still works. But, like, I don't understand. <laughs> uh, you've probably noticed that if you go to the Nightshade Fox mod on Steam, the fix is now listed in the, uh, the user requirements or something. Vane did in update it uh, until an actual fix is found. But it might just be a quirk of the really old engine. But that, that's how you fix SCP Containment Breach. I, I don't understand how it's taken so long to work this out. And I, I work this out whilst at work. Just a little thing in the end of this video. Uh, I spoke to Batesy after doing this fix because he was the one who had the issues with the containment breach. And after he was like, is it really that easy to fix? And I was like, yeah, bro. This also seems to affect the performance of other games. Probably because it's not maybe bottlenecking through something internally. I don't know. It might not affect everyone, but if you've got lower frame rates in other games, this might also fix it. I don't know. It just seems really weird. But anyway, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video, which will be an actual video on time and next week. Promise. Toodles!